we want to simplify the following fractions. A fraction is in simplest form if the numerator and denominator do not contain any common factors. Sometimes just by looking at a fraction, it's hard to determine what the common factors would be. So I like to use the prime factorization method, which means we'll determine the prime factorization of the numerator and denominator and then simplify out the common factors. So we'll start by determining the prime factorization of 24 and 108. So we could use four times six. So the prime factorization of 24 would be two times two times two times three. And now we'll do the same for 108. It's even, so let's start with two times 54. Two's prime. How about nine times six, three times three, and two times three. So we have two factors of two and three factors of three. And now once we have the prime factorization, it's much easier to identify the common factors between the numerator and denominator. Here we have a two over two, that simplifies to one. Two over two, that simplifies to one. And we also have a three over three, which simplifies to one. So whatever factors remain will give us the simplified fraction for 24 one-hundred-eighths. So our numerator, we have a factor of two. Our denominator, we have three times three, which is equal to nine. 24 one-hundred-eighths simplifies to two-ninths. Now looking at this fraction in prime factored form, notice the factors that simplified out were two times two times three. So 24 and 108 had a common factor of 12, meaning if we knew our multiplication tables really well, it would have been a little bit faster to divide the numerator and denominator by 12 to obtain the simplified fraction of two-ninths but that does get much more difficult as these numbers get larger and larger. Let's go and take a look at one more example. We want to simplify 75 100 fifths. So again, we'll start by writing out the prime factorization of 75 and 105. And the more you make these prime factorization trees, the faster you get. 75 is equal to three times 25, which is five times five. So we have three times five times five. And for 105, it ends in a five, so how about five times 21? And then 21 is three times seven. So we have a factor of three, a factor of five, and a factor of seven. And now for the fun part, we get to simplify. Here's a three over three, that simplifies to one. Five over five simplifies to one. So 75 100 fifths simplifies to 5 sevenths. Or again, if you're very good with your multiplication tables and you can recognize that these two have a common factor of 15, we could divide both the numerator and denominator by 15 to obtain the simplified fraction of 5 sevenths. But again, this gets much more difficult as these numbers get larger and larger and the prime factorization method stays pretty much the same.